This video is sponsored by Skillshare. In this After Effects tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to create a complex animated patterns inside of After Effects using just one shape layer. It's going to be super fun and super informative. So make sure you stay tuned throughout the video. And with that said, I am Nikhil from DopeMotions.com. So without any further ado, let's get started. Alright guys, so here we are in After Effects. Let's start by creating a new composition 1920 by 1080, 30 FPS and 10 seconds long. Let's call this main as this is going to be our main comp. And let's pretty quickly create a nice background. So hit Ctrl Y to create a new solid called this BG for background. Hit OK. And let's add some color to this. So I'm going to use gradient ramp. Double click and let's change this to radial ramp let's bring this right here move this right over here and this one just like that also increase the ramp scatter all the way up to 300 so we don't get any kind of color bendings so for this color i'm going to go with a nice purplish background just like you saw in the preview so i'm going to go pretty random Maybe just like that and let's also okay. Maybe a bit darker. All right, so that is looking nice. We have our background ready. Let's start building up our element. So it's pretty simple. First, I'm gonna select the polygon tool with no fill. So I'm gonna set the fill to none. Hit okay. And let's set the stroke to around 2. Alright, and let's create a polygon holding Ctrl and Shift at the same time. I'm going to align this pretty quickly into the center. Go into Polystar 1. Polystar Path 1 and set this to 6 points. For the outer radius, I'm going to go with 100 for now. So I'm going to keep it a smaller shape. Then we can simply just duplicate it. So hit Ctrl D to duplicate it, put this below, go into the Polystar Path 1 and set this to around, let's go with 150. So that is looking pretty nice for the colors. I have a simple color code right over here. You can of course use any color that you like. So I'm just going to use the same color so we have the similar output as the preview. So that is looking pretty nice. Let's add some more element to this. Before I proceed further with this tutorial, let's take a look at today's sponsor Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community for creatives where millions come together to take the next step in their creative journey. Skillshare offers thousands of inspiring classes for creatives and curious people on topics including illustration, design, photography, video, freelancing and more. Skillshare offers class designed for real life, so you can move your creative journey forward without putting life on hold. You can check out this animation course for motion design on Skillshare to learn more about motion graphics and animation. Skillshare is also incredibly affordable, especially when compared to pricey in-person classes and workshops. Click the link in the description to get two free months of premium membership and explore your creativity. So I'm going to select the pen tool, make sure the shape layer is selected and let's add a nice stroke. So I'm going to just click right over here and click right over here. So we have a nice stroke just like that. Also, I'm going to call this line and pull this below. So it's below these two layers that we have. And now the best part about this pattern is it's, it doesn't need to be very specific. You can add a number of different shapes and create your own unique looking pattern. So that is one thing that you need to keep in mind that you don't need to exactly follow the path, but not path actually the design, but you can, you know, experiment with it and create your own unique pattern. So that is looking pretty good. 
let's duplicate the poly star 2 hit ctrl d put this below the line as well and go into the poly star set the points to 3 this time i'm going to go with a nice triangle you can keep it this way if you want to but i'm just going to adjust its position and keep it something like oh something like there also you can hit control shift h so the, so that you can hide the control layers and work a bit more precisely yep that is looking good and one more thing that i think i will do is change the stroke property to 1 or 1 1.5 i think okay that is looking good let's adjust the position a bit it's very important that the elements are nicely precisely placed in the position so that when we create the pattern it doesn't look choppy or weird so there we have our triangle also i'm going to do that with the poly star 2 i'm going to set the stroke to around 1.5 okay so that is looking pretty nice so now we have added four elements let's add one more or actually let's keep it simple for now this looks pretty good as of now now let's go ahead and do some animation on this so i'm gonna click right over here and add a trim part to this and now we can basically animate all the strokes just like that so it's gonna look super cool let's keep it at zero create a keyframe on the end and the offset go all the way up to 10 seconds and set the offset to one so we have a one complete rotation for the end property i'm going to go at four seconds and set this to 100 let's go back to i think one second should be good enough and create a keyframe on the start property go to five seconds and set this to 100 so now we have a really interesting animation which looks pretty weird at the moment but we will fix it so the first thing that i want to do is as you can see our animation stops right over here and after that we don't have any animation so to keep on the animation going i'm going to use a script called loop out ping pong which is a pretty simple loop animation script so i'm going to hold alt and just copy paste it on the start and the end property and now we have an animation even after the keyframes are even after there is no keyframe later on so we have a basic ping pong animation as you can see and the best part about this expression is that it, it it's not it doesn't look very repetitive it looks pretty random and that is what i'm going for so that looks pretty good now let's go ahead and create some repeaters or add some repeaters to this so for for now i'm gonna turn off the trim parts and go into add property and add a repeater so i'm going to write here let's place it into the position that we want i'm going to keep it something like that just try to be again as precise as you can all right that looks good maybe i'll set the number of copies to 10 all right and now i'm going to create one more repeater again so add a repeater to this let's set this to 10 going to transform repeater and let's adjust the position so i'm just gonna you know place it accordingly zoom in and again trying to be as precise as possible okay all right that is looking good now we can actually select the shape hit control shift h and move this just like that and now if i turn on the trim paths boom there we have a pretty cool looking pattern now it's not looking that complex that i want it to be so let's go ahead and add one more element now as i told you guys this is a completely abstract pattern effect so you can play around with the complete design and add more and more elements to this 
and make it look super cool for the background i think i'm gonna make it a bit more darker so that is looking pretty cool let's add one more element that is going to be an ellipse we don't need any stroke i'm just going to use a nice blue fill on this make sure the layer is selected also i'm going to turn off the trim paths and the repeater so we can only see our shape which is not visible oh because it's right over here so what i'm going to do let's move this or actually let's align it into the center let's turn on the turn off the repeater and let's go ahead and add a circle to this so i'm gonna select this make sure the ellipse ellipse tool is selected and i'm gonna add a circle right over here this big should be okay we don't need any stroke we just need a nice fill to this also i'm gonna put this below all the layers and set the opacity or bring down the opacity a little bit and that is looking pretty good maybe i'll put it on the top actually instead of below all right and i'm gonna add a simple scale animation to this so create a keyframe on the scale set this to zero go to one second set this to 100 go to two seconds and set this to zero now again we want this animation to loop but this time i'm going to use a different expression i'm going to use a simple loop out so we so we have a continuous scale animation just like that pretty nice now let's go and turn everything back on make some room right over here and again i can just place it just like that so there we have our pattern ready to roll but to make it look even more complex what i can do is select it hit ctrl shift c to precompose it call this pattern hit ctrl d to duplicate it hit r and rotate this by 180 degrees and by just doing that you have created a very cool and complex looking kind of a sci-fi pattern and that is what i was going after now one more thing that i would like to do is you can keep it this way but i like to displace this a bit so i'm going to turn on the collapse transformation and let's pull this down a bit and this way you get a pretty complex looking pattern now you can add your text whatnot and you know have some fun with it you can also change the shape of elements so what i can do is i can go into the pattern and i can just actually bring this right here again let me just quickly show you guys what we can do i'm going to turn off the animation and now we have our simple pattern and what I'm, i can do is actually change the poly star to maybe a circle you know this one as well or you can also change this to a square if you want to and let's see what we get so now we can actually turn everything back on and you can see we get a pretty different and sick looking pattern So now you can see in just few tweaks, we get a completely different pattern. You can play around with the colors, create some amazing stuff and maybe upload it on Instagram and tag me. I would love to see your amazing artworks. So make sure if you upload it on Instagram, make sure to tag me and yeah. I think that is all so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to create complex patterns inside of After Effects using just one shape layer. So I hope this technique was helpful to you guys and if it was make sure to subscribe, comment and like and follow me on Instagram at dope.motions. I will see you guys in the next video till then take care and always stay raw, stay creative. Peace out. Oh,